Hey, what is going on guys? So we are back up here on the ridge um, for our, well, I was gonna try to do something cute and clever and like, hey, what are we doing today? But I'm sure that my, um, my title and my little clip, uh, I don't even, can't even remember what they're called right now, the little clip thing at the beginning, the picture that I write on and you try to be as clever as possible. Anyways, I'm sure that's giving it all away. So without further ado, we are doing metal today on the barn. So uh, as you can see, they've got halfway of the first lower section done. I have had uh, quite the day. So I'm just now making it up here and it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. But uh, they started on th this morning and uh, what you're seeing over here in yellow is the vinyl backed insulation and what you're seeing here in what is technically charcoal uh, but gray is the roof panel, the metal panel. So they are hard at it today. I think there's six guys here working their butts off. It's hot. Uh, we do have a little bit of breeze. But uh, that's what we got going today. We're probably only going to get this side done, this roof section done today. So it's looking like, uh, it's looking like, I'm sure they had some time laying some things out this morning and figuring all of that out. So I'm sure that that uh, killed the drill because this is not what these guys do just kind of every day, day in, day out. Um, this is actually my roofing company that, I, that does all of my roofs basically. And uh, I figured they could uh, help us with getting this barn skinned out with metal because they do metal roofs too. But it's a little bit more complicated than just a little metal roof doing an entire structure like this. So I'm rambling. Um, so it's looking like if they can get this side done in a day, they can obviously get the other side done in a day because they've got it figured out. And then I'm hoping... Um, in the third day, they'll probably have a little bit more done than that side. And in the third day, they'll have the big main roof done in three days. But I have been a little over optimistic thus far in our barn build. But I think these guys can pull it off as long as weather holds and they can stay here. So third day would be really nice to have it all under roof. And then uh, then them working on walls. And I'm pretty sure that's the plan. Uh, but I'll talk to... Uh, Dan, who is uh, running this job for them, uh, when he gets up here, I think he's on his way. So, But right now, they are cutting some panels, or one panel. One panel needs cut. I'll show you where. Uh, so they're over there doing that. They're laying out panels on, uh, they're getting their layout done. They're rolling out insulation. They're cutting insulation. So let's quit talking out here, and let's go get you a closer look at what's going on. All right, so as you can see, that's where the cut panel is going to be. Uh, they've got a little uh, one foot, maybe eight inch cut right here, and then it steps back to the uh, further back portion uh, for the rest of the panel. And so there you've got your insulation all rolled out. It's vinyl backed. It's got a little seam. It's got a little overlap of the vinyl on each end. Like this right here is a joint where the two come together and seal up. Um, and you can see that all the way down those are like probably six to eight foot pieces um and so they've got the rest of this side insulation done so now they're doing panels let me uh, go see if i can get a picture of them let me back this out let me let me go get some video of them cutting panels laying all those panels out and getting ready and then we'll go from there Hey, Simon. Okay. Hmm. Smile. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So what he's done here, this is that panel I was talking about. He's cut his notch out right here. He did it with hand snippers. There's really not a pretty way to do that, but there is trim 
that will cap over the top of that and hide it. There's uh, some of this trim stuff over here will hide that, that ugly cut. But So you can see here he has chalked a blue line. That's where each lacer going across the rafters are, or the trusses. And so that's, uh, he's pre-drilled all of his holes, which is pretty vital when you're doing these. If you don't want uh, leaks or problems or things like that, it's always a good idea to pre-drill all these holes. And uh, then they'll just carry this panel up there and they'll run their screws in. So um, this is obviously your top lap. And that's your bottom lap here where the next piece will overlay on top of this one. And this piece overlays on top of what's up there now so pretty straightforward pretty easy stuff and uh, we'll go up there and see what a finished piece looks like and uh, see if we can't get some footage of them installing this one so right here david's chucked a line to keep straight and that is basically a way to seal up the l metal but it's just a foam piece that follows the contour. He's getting ready to put a piece of flashing here. And that goes right on the inside of his line. Pushes down. It's got some adhesive on the back of it. And that seals up the, we call it L-metal. Uh, but it's just a piece of flashing, roof-to-wall flashing, people have called it. Uh, it just closes up that gap that's going to be caused by this ridge here. So... That's what we're doing now, getting ready to set the flashing, and we're getting ready to set that board right there. They're putting on the drip edge, uh, getting ready to set that piece of metal for the roof right there. And I'll come back when they start that, or when we put on this L metal. So that's the roof to wall metal he notched around the windows and he's just screwing it down right now uh, still waiting on this piece of um, roof metal to show you the installation of that and then uh, we'll wrap this thing up <laughs> Hey, no lleva nada. En el lab. Espérame, Juan. No lleva nada en el lab. He's bragging because he got his measurement right. So they just laid it on. They've got the lap correct and they're getting ready to screw it down. Pretty simple stuff from here. In his pre drilled holes.
And this is what the vinyl backed insulation looks like from the underneath side. And uh, it's all, all the way down. So uh, we're getting closer, really close to uh, mean, being able to drain uh, Lake Day Blackberry Ridge and uh, get that nasty water cleaned up and let that dirt dry out. So, all right, well, that's enough. Uh, you've heard enough from me today. That's enough. That's all I can be here today. I've been here for uh, two hours just trying to uh, get this video done. So that's it for me. I will see you the next day. They are up here doing this. They were able to sneak in today because there was a good chance of rain. So they couldn't uh, tear off another roof, but uh, they're scheduled to start this week full blown anyways. So uh, they may not be here tomorrow, but they'll be here back this week to uh, continue on. So anyways, we will uh, see you the next time they're up here. We'll see you next time up on the ridge.